Hi friends, today we are going to see a video on Engineering Materials and Metrology First Unit Classification of Measurement Methods Classification of Measurement Methods is classified as follows Coincidence Method, Complementary Method, Contact Method, Comparative Method, Directive Method, Deflection Method, Indirect Method, Absolute or Fundamental Method, Transposition Method so I am going to explain briefly about each and every topics now. Okay. Moving on to the first method, that is direct method of measurement. The quantity to be measured is obtained directly without any calculation. For example, measurement by using scales, vernier caliper, micrometer, bevel protector, etc. I have provided an image as a background of this slide. You can visualize uh, this image in order to get a better understanding. I have drawn a line A to B and I used a scale in order to measure the length of the line. So uh, by using the scale we get the direct measurement of the length of the line. This method is most widely used in production and it is very inaccurate due to human insensitiveness. Next method is indirect method of measurement. The value of measurement obtained by measuring other quantities. Example angle measurement by using sign bar. When compared to the previous measurement, we get a direct value by using the scale. But in this method, uh, by using a sign bar experiment, we may not get a measurement directly. We, we have to proceed with some other calculation in order to get the angle of the surface. One is comparative method. In this method, the value of quantity to be measured is compared with the known value or other quantity practically related to it. So in this method, only the deviation between the gauges are determined example dial indicator or other comparators the next is coincidence method it is a differential method of measurement in which a very small difference between the measured quantity and the reference which is determined by the observation of between the coincidence of certain lines or signals example measurement by vernier caliper in vernier caliper the vernier scale reading will be found by using the coincidence between the vernier scale and the main scale reading and the next method is contact method it is a measurement method by which a sensor or measuring tape touches the surface area example mechanical comparator vernier caliper uh, etc most of the all measurement devices are contact based on contact method only next is transposition method it is a method of measurement by direct comparison in which quantity to be measured is first balanced by initially known value and then balanced by a new known value example determination of a mass by means of a balance and known weights or using gauss doubling method Next is complementary method in this method the value of quantity to be measured is combined with the known value of the same quantity the combination is so adjusted that the sum of these two values is equal to the predetermined comparison value for example determination of the volume of a solid by liquid displacement the next is deflection method the value of quantity to be measured directly indicated by a deflection of a pointer on a calibrated scale example pressure gauge the last is absolute or fundamental method it is based on the measurement of the base quantities used to define the quantity for example measuring a quantity directly in accordance with the definition of the quantity or measuring a quantity indirectly by direct measurement of a quantities linked with the definition of the quantity to be measured i have also provided short notes for each and every heading hope this will be useful for your examination